Right, every photo today that you see on this video is going to be taken with the 35 millimeter. Well, it's going to be more with the 15 to 35, but I'll only show you guys the photo that's taken with the 35 focal length. Seems like the Canon is gonna come out with the 35 millimeter 1.4. I hope it's small. If it's big like the EF version, then probably gonna opt out for it. But if it's smaller, definitely gonna get one. Let me show you around. Kitchen, living room, bedroom. The restroom is nice. Wow. That's a little high, but you get used to it. That is the biggest flash button handle thing that I've ever seen. My goodness. I, I'm not gonna press it, but I think that's what it is. I don't want to waste water. This place is surprisingly good. Wait, I think that's somebody else's balcony. I guess we kind of share one. That's... it's alright. I can share. Alright, this one's private. This is... this is all mine. I'm gonna try to go see the Matterhorn today. Whether... Seems foggy and overcast, but so far, this looks great. I just look at behind me. Look at the blue sky. I think this is gonna turn out good. See, this is like a huge problem with YouTube nowadays. You kind of have to put gear in the title in order to get views, and that's very not healthy. And it has to be the gear that people want to use too, or popular ones. Not just like 
this 15 to 35, it's just not as popular as like Prime 35, Prime 50. Still kind of fascinating me that almost no one is here. It's so empty. I'm not moving. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. I'm really surprised that there's not that many people up here. Oh, that's that's a good thing. I'm gonna have to watch my steps so I don't slip and fall and die here. Oh yeah, I'll definitely beat the crowd. You know earlier in the video where I said that if the 35 is too big, I might not get it. I, I take that back. Maybe I'll still get it if it's big. I mean, it's, I think the 35 is great. I kind of like it. And honestly, I feel like if you only have one lens, that is great for traveling. Just a way, very well-rounded lens. Maybe I'm just a sucker for 35. I feel like using a zoom lens and just living yourself by using just one focal length. It's very helpful, especially for beginners. When you're first starting out, you're not sure which focal length that you like the most and what, what type of photography that you like the most. And this is like the easiest way to figure that out yourself before you invest in like a very expensive bright lens. And since I have the RF 15 to 35 already, this makes more sense to just keep on using the 35, for me at least. I just gotta be disciplined and just keep myself at 35 all the time. If that's something I wanna do throughout like a street photography session or, or like today. Well, even though I used a lot of like different lenses today, I'm just showing you guys the 35 millimeter. But to be honest, a lot can be done with the 35 millimeter, even though it's, well, it's actually quite popular. Some people don't like it, some people do, so it really depends on you. And honestly, for me, it makes the most sense too since I'm making a video. 15 to 35 is just, just perfect. I can vlog with it, at the same time, I can use the 35. And if I really want to, I come back to the, like 28. I have to say, the view here is incredible. I just can't get enough of this. And the weather is great. It's not as hot as Houston, but it's actually pretty cold up here. And. Oh, you just look at this. All the eyes are melting, and then I feel like it's gonna be whoa. Okay, you gotta check this out. I feel like the matter or is gonna get taken over by a bunch of overcast clouds. I've been pretty lucky so far throughout this trip, but this might be it. This might be the end of it. I'm not sure if I can see this when I go up there. I guess I used up all of my luck. Maybe I wait for maybe another 20, 30 minutes. The cloud will pass away. We'll see.